Welcome back to the channel. Just seen the latest Nintendo Direct shown, showing off all the new games coming this year. Let's have a look at the highlights. So to kick things off, showing us the new Fire Emblem Warriors game. Looks like they're going for a similar style to what they did with the Hyrule Warriors Zelda one, where they actually tied the mainline story in. So this being based around the Three Houses game. Decent start. No Man's Sky is on its way to the Switch. Pretty exciting for anyone that hasn't already played it. Mario Strikers was announced. What a massive surprise that was. Looking amazing with some cool new features. Play with up to eight players playing at once. Crafting an online club. They look like they've added some Mario Kart kart style where each suit gives you new stats and abilities. Super excited for this one. Coming June 10th. A new trailer was shown for Splatoon 3. Not gonna lie, not really fussed for this one. Added to the fact that the music they used for the trailer was really bloody annoying. Just looks like it should just be DLC for the second one, but I know there's a lot of people excited for this, so I'm not going to rag on it. A couple of full remakes and other announcements were mentioned. Front Mission 1 and 2 are coming. Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the Wii version, weirdly enough. Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection. And SD Gundam Battle Alliance. And Disney coming swinging with a new kart racer. I did like the look of this. Would have liked to see you be able to drive as, I don't know, Darth Maul in Captain America or something, but who knows, maybe some DLC will come later on down the line. The remastered version of Chrono Cross was shown off, which we had heard being rumoured, but now is a thing. I know a lot of fans will be happy for this one, coming April 7th. Then shown us some more footage of the new Kirby game. I must admit, the more I see of this, the more and more I can't wait to play it. Reminds me a lot of Mario Odyssey, in so many ways. Showing off some of the new features of how some of the traversal will take place, using the copying ability in mouthful mode with some nice new fighting styles as well. Some new collections, the Kingdom Heart games are all coming, Cloud version, for some crazy reason. Klonoa is coming to the Switch, an old classic. Portal 1 and 2, which I'm personally really happy to see. Live a life, live a live, live, live a live. Nailed it. A game that never actually made its way out of Japan. I can imagine a lot of people are excited for that. Wii Sports, baby. I mean, Nintendo Switch Sports, baby. Coming out at not a full price game, which is sweet. Offering tennis, bowling, volleyball, badminton, chimbala, and soccer, aka actual football. Looking like something straight out of Rocket League. They're not using Miis in this, which is a bit weird, considering they've just used them in Mario Golf, but hey ho. Games have online leagues to go against people around the world. They announced Golf coming at a later date. I'm pretty excited for this one. There's a new update coming for Metroid Dread, the Dread mode, which is basically a one-hit kill, and Rookie mode, which I'm sure some people will be more than happy for. Earthbound 1 and 2 are coming to the Switch, which I know a lot of people have wanted for some time now. Then Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC got announced. Five years late, but who really cares? 48 tracks coming from past Mario Kart games. The DLC is set to release in waves of 8 tracks. The first one coming out on March 18th, and the last one finishing out in 2023. So unfortunately, no Mario Kart 9 come in for a while then. The show came to a close with them showcasing the new Xenoblade Chronicles 3, coming later this year. Overall, really happy with everything that was announced today then. Mario Strikers got to be my highlight. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favourite game announced. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.